So we're back. This is looking pretty good. It's almost completely translucent. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of mixing here. So as you can see right at the edges, it's looking translucent right here. Almost clear, almost. So I'm just gonna try to stir it around. You'll see in some areas there's like some liquid looking bits. That is normal, that's what's to be expected. like soap. Um, I don't even really know how to describe soap smell, but it's kind of, I don't know. I'm not going to attempt to describe it, but whatever you imagine soap smells like, that's what it smells like. So it's really very difficult to mix, but I'm trying to do that so that this cooks evenly or as evenly as it possibly can. We still have a little way to go for it to get to where I need it to be. So this is the second, maybe 30 minute count. Remember, you wanna give yourself about three or four hours to make liquid soap. See, that's looking pretty translucent. And you wanna come back and check it every 30 minutes or so until it gets to like a clear honey consistency, honey look, and, and as far as color goes. This is still kind of opaque, but we're almost there. So I wanted to show you um, that I tested it early, and as you can see, my water is still cloudy, so that lets you know that it's not ready. We kind of want this to be, the water is definitely soapy. We already have soap, we just want to cook it until it becomes clear. So we still have a little way to go, but as you can see, the water is still cloudy, and when I test it again, I want this water to be clear, and that will let me know that my soap is ready. So here I'm just checking and stirring. I'm about at hour three at this point in the process. Okay, so our soap is ready. It is pretty translucent. Um, I've already done my test where I took about an ounce of soap. I would say, I'm trying to find a measurement just so you see about how much. I just did about that much in about four ounces of water and, well, hot water. And this is basically what the soap water looks like. It doesn't have to be um, colorless, it just has to be clear. Um, so I think that's pretty good for a liquid soap. So I am now going to add, start deleting, um, diluting the soap um, so that we can actually have our, 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 our liquid soap. This is actually what's considered the paste to make your soap. Um, so what I'm gonna do is add about 10 ounces of water, reduce the heat to warm, and um, this is going to allow this to melt over the course of about eight hours. Um, and then we will have our soap. So. I already have some water ready. I'm gonna add, first I'm gonna reduce the heat to warm on my crock pot setting. And I'm gonna add this water. I 
and you want to try and break up these chunks as best as you can and just let it sit. So, and um, you don't really need to stir it, you can kind of just let it be, but if you think about it every now and then, give it a quick stir. If you need to break up some chunks, do that. I'm going to add the rest of my water. Um, and I will come back to you with the final result. There you go. So, this is how the soap looks. Um, it's about say six hours now it's been on the warmer cooling down I mean sorry melting really there's still just a few chunks left from when I initially made the soap this morning and every now and then I go in and I stir and it's almost completely melted but that's kind of what it looks like. And what I understand, it'll thicken up after it's completely melted. It'll stick, uh, thicken up once it's cooled down and give it a couple of days to rest. But I am pretty pleased with um, my results. So I'm going to leave this on to warm, see it's on the warm setting, I'm going to leave it on for another um, couple of hours. It's supposed to be about around 9, we'll make it 8 hours since it's been melting. Um, but if you did this, if you wanted to do this, you could save this for overnight. You don't even really need to mix it. I just so curious um, that I keep messing with it so but I like that I was able to see the whole process of it but it seems pretty thick and um, from my last test where I did the test for the clarity this is what the water looks like um, and I've been actually using the soap that's in that that um, clarity test. I've been actually using that to wash my hands, and it feels so good. The soap is um, really, really soapy. Bubbles are really fluffy. Um, I'll do a test after everything is completely done. But just using the clarity test water. I'm really pleased with the results and my hands feel soft after. So if um, you want to try making this soap, I think it was an easy process. It's just that um, it's very time consuming. So I'm definitely going to do this again, but I'm going to try it with some other oils. Um, but anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, please like and comment and let me know what you think.